Welcome back to Portsmouth Historic Dockyards. We've swabbed the decks to make sure we're ready for you to come back to us, and we've gone full steam ahead to make sure everything is as safe as possible. So let's take a look, shall we? Things may be a little different when you return to Portsmouth Historic Dockyard, but we can assure you it will still be a fun-filled day. You will be subject to a bag search as you enter, so please pack light, and queues may be a little longer than expected, but that's to make sure everybody can get through as safely as possible. Unfortunately, we can't take unexpected visitors, so you will have to book your time slot via our website. Well, remember how it used to be? One ticket fits all? That's what it is now. The Mary Rose Museum is now back firmly in bed with the Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. And so one ticket gets you access to everything you want to see. Not confusing anymore, is it? Now, we're delighted that you've come back to see us, but things have changed. You can't just turn up now at the historic docks on spec. You have to go to the website and book a specific date and a specific time. We're calling it a time slot. And then when that's on your device, you go to the relevant museum and they will scan you in so we all know who's who and what's what. Bob's your uncle. Good day, and may I welcome aboard HMS Warrior, the most heavily armed, the most heavily armoured, and indeed the fastest ship in the world. My name is Fourth Lieutenant Jackie Fisher. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Now, with the outbreak of cholera going around, we have some new rules and regulations about you visiting. The ship is classed as a confined space. Though our gun deck, you can fit the whole of HMS Victory with a few feet to spare. It is home to around 500 men, and it can get rather pongy. For this reason, we ask that when you do visit us, that you wear a face mask. To protect not just Her Majesty's finest crew in the Royal Navy, but also yourselves. You can't always be in lavish conditions such as this, but then we can't all be born wonderfully upper class. Well, good afternoon, girl. I would like to purchase these rat droppings. Plenty of stuff to buy in the shop, but make sure you pay contactless or at least chip and pin. As you wander around the very, very large ship, you'll find a one-way system. We will enforce this not just with the addition of signs, but also with an 1857 rifle and bayonet. Now, Surgeon Wells has invented these new hand sanitization stations. Something about germs, I'm not quite sure. That's more his cup of tea than mine. For those working class riffraff taxpayers out there that are not quite sure how to wash their hands, I have a rather smelly able seaman here that is able to show you how to do it. Mr. Pollard, do you feel free to take a seat? Thank you, Lieutenant. And as you were. Um, thank you, sir. Obviously, there are stairs at the Mary Rose Museum, which will take you to every deck and every gallery. But both our lifts are fully operational and they're safe to use. But remember, social distancing is the key. Only use them with your own bubble. And if you're a big lad like me, one at a time. This is our airlock. It's an environmentally controlled zone of the museum. It keeps the temperature and the air pressure just right to preserve my ship. Normally, people would cram into the airlock so they could get onto the open top deck for the best views of the boat. But now we want you to do social bubbling. One family or one bubble only each time. And the good thing is, once you're in the airlock, you don't have to press a button to get out. The doors will open automatically. A bit like this. To keep you and your family safe, we have had to unfortunately close some of our attractions. That includes the Horrible Histories Pirate Exhibition, Action Stations, and the water bus. But rest assured, there is still a lot more fun things for you to get up to. 
Well, there she is. That's my ship. All the staff have been working behind the scenes to make the place safe for you. So our staff and our volunteers and our costumed interpreters are all ready to welcome you back. However, you've got to keep your distance. I mean, you don't want to get too close to someone with a loud voice like me, do you? I didn't get where I was today without a bit of shouting. Ah! <laughs> Whilst you travel around the site, of course, we ask you to try and keep six foot apart. Uh, that is two metres to you modern lot. How to remember? Well, about six foot is the length of one of our rifles and also its accompanying bayonet. If we test the six foot rule and you're not abiding by it, you may get a little bit of a sharp pain in the chest. Isn't that right, Mr. Podhart? If you need your daily rations, we can assure you the Boathouse Number no. 7 restaurants and the Merry Rose Cafe are still open to the public. Our lavatory facilities are open all across the site, though we ask either one person at a time or one social bubble. This one's not for you, of course. Wardroom officers only. We're the rather uh, gorgeous looking chaps with the ribbon on our wrists. We weighed anchor, and here at Portsmouth Historic Dockyard, we're ready and waiting to see your happy, smiley faces. It's been very quiet since you've been gone, but the National Museum of the Royal Navy and the Mary Rose Museum have worked very hard to get us up and running again. So we can't wait to see you very, very soon.